This is a fully automatic arrow ink farm. When we come back, I'm going to show you how to build it. What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious. Welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Alright guys, I just had this idea that I wanted to create a, you know, a brand new type of ink farm. Now, I just put these in, uh, as you can see the egg in my hand, I just put all these squid back in right before this video. But I had this, literally this entire thing filled up with squid. And I left it overnight. And uh, yeah, I got I got some pretty, uh, pretty good results. Now... You are going to have to refill these, okay, with uh, with arrows. You are going to have to do that. I mean, you, you also could have it out here where you just have, like, hoppers going into them and instead of putting, or on the back part, instead of putting uh, lights on the back, you could just have little chests there. So you could definitely easily do that. But, yeah, as you can see, they get shot. They eventually go up here. There's pressure plates down there. They come up. They touch this uh, trip hook wire, and it just unleashes a barrage of arrows on them. And then you collect their ink sacks. Um, I just thought it'd be cool to have by the shore. I, I just created a, a silly little, uh, silly looking pond here. But we're gonna go into a real, a real world and uh, and build it. So again, real quick, they just as just as they just swim around uh, near a shoreline. You could do it like uh, on a stream, and you would just have them just swim by and they'll just get killed and it's awesome like i said this is fully automatic and i got a ton of uh you know of ink so pretty pretty cool and the only thing is they they died off pretty pretty uh pretty quickly and obviously they didn't regenerate so otherwise that would have been a hell of a lot more like if you're in a real world the ink, you know the squid are just going to keep auto generating i have a mob spawning off uh just because i wanted to test and see how many i'd get from what i put out Oh, look at that, 54. It was just 49. So it's pretty cool. Anyway, let's uh, let's go into a, a random generated world and uh, and build this thing. All right, guys, so we are here in a random world. Here's the seed in case you're interested. I just thought I'd leave it on the screen for you guys. It's actually a really, uh, a really cool place to spawn. There's actually a lot out here. Um, and you got some nice mountains over there. It's pretty uh, pretty cool mushrooms already right here. Uh, but I figured we'll pick this uh, this area right here. This looks like a, a very good place to do it. And you need just something that's uh, that's just like this right here going across. You could you could do uh, there as well, like going across there. Uh, just some place that's like less than 15 blocks. So why don't we just choose uh, choose right here. Okay, so here's, here's everything that you're going to need. You're just going to need a building block of your choice. So since we're in, uh, since we're in the sand biome why not just get some sand so we'll get uh we'll get some smooth sandstone okay we'll get that uh, for the redstone you're going to need uh, some lamps redstone torch you're going to need some string okay you're going to need uh, some tripwire hooks um get some get yourself some pressure plates it's just i found it really really helpful underneath uh some hoppers and a chest Okay, and then for me, I'm just going to go ahead and grab an egg as well. Uh, I think that's a natural. Yep. I'm just going to go ahead and grab an egg. I'm going to get a squid egg. Okay. So we're going to choose, uh, let's see, how much is this? So one, two, three, four, five. So that's uh, seven, nine, 11, 13. Yeah, we'll choose um, 13. We'll do 15 right here. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put a block down. You're going to go across to its counterpart. Okay, that's where your tripwire hooks are going to be. Just like that. And then obviously you're just going to put down your string. Just make sure you, I always like to have the hitboxes on so you can see it. Um, just if you want, you can always go ahead and put some blocks down so you can easily put them down. Okay, so there's your tripwire hooks. Cool. All right, and then what I suggest you do is make sure it's like two down. All right, so just take away all the spots where it's like one, uh, except for here. So actually, I here you're going to go ahead and put, here, let me let me show you. Here you're going to go ahead and put one down. Um, where's the sand? Is that a natural? Yeah. So what you want to do is you want to leave 
one block of space that's two down behind it. Okay, and you do want to only have two down. Okay, so put, here we go, fill that in. All right, so right underneath the string, so that's the string, you should have two blocks, and that should be for in front of it and also underneath it, not behind it. Behind it can be whatever it is, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so let's get rid of that sand. Okay, now what you're gonna do is, you can put it behind it if you want and make it a little bit bigger, but I don't mind having that, that torch out. So we're gonna put a torch on top, okay? Another block, like so. Okay, and then just, just the torch, just like that. Another torch there, another torch there, beautiful. Then you're just gonna run this down, run the line of this going here. Oh, and you need a dispenser, wow. Can't believe I forgot that, like the most important thing. Okay, so then we're gonna take uh, some dispensers and you're gonna put it uh, underneath it. Now, keep in mind, you could do this on the smaller parts too. I could have done it on the one where it was like four going across. It, it all just depends. I would just pick a pick an area where you know that squid are, where you've seen a lot of squid. Okay, so you want to make sure they're facing down. Okay, and now what I always do is I just build this up on this side. Okay, I just build it up like this and like that. And then you can put, a, put one on top as well. Okay, same thing over here. So you build it up on the side, build it up behind it, build it up down here. I always go under the water and then put one on top, like there. Okay, now what you're going to do is uh, you're going to take redstone as well. <laughs> oh man, I forgot so much stuff. <laughs> you're going to take, uh, we don't need that anymore, or that. Okay, so you're going to take some redstone as well, and then you're just going to run it all along here just like so perfect okay then you're going to put your lights there and if you want it on the other side for an indication or this this is probably the side you want it on because this is facing the, the water but if you want it on the other side as well go ahead and do that uh if if not you know just design it however you like entirely up to you okay and then you're going to build that going across like so Build that going across. Now what you could do, okay, is actually break these. Now I'm just thinking about design. You could break those there. And then if you wanted, you could take some stairs. Okay, just for a little bit of design. You take some sandstone stairs. And you could go uh, this way with it. Like this. Okay. Or you could do slabs. Or you could just do those full blocks. Uh, entirely up to you. Kind of like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And then you could just leave this leave this open like that. You don't have to put anything on top. Oh, I forgot to put... Silly me, I forgot to put that here. Uh, let's just, you know, let's run it this way. Boom. All right, and then don't forget, you you do have to fill all of these up with, um, with arrows. But again, you know, you should have a, a basic mob farm and you always get an excess of arrows, like a million arrows. Um, so I would go ahead and just throw those in there. And then uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to, I know I said put that here, but what we're going to do is these are, these right here are supposed to be hoppers. So you're going to find a center point. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That works out perfectly. Try and keep an odd number. It just helps out. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So right under here, this is going to be. Okay, that's where we're going to put our chest. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have every other chest or every other, i just put this here really quick. Every other um, hopper lead into that. Same thing over here. I just put this down first because it's just a heck of a lot easier. So what you do is you run that in like that. And then same thing here. You just want to basically run these into each other. Okay, so you just want to run those those into that. So we're going to break this, and everything is going to be run into those uh, those hoppers right there. Only one that's going to be a little difficult are these right here. 
So let me just go ahead and do that fast. All right, guys. Actually, what we're going to be doing now is that now that we have our two, right, this third layer down here, I found the center. Okay, make sure you find your center. There are 13, so the seventh one is our center. Okay, so you find yourself a center. And then what you do is now you have these two layers up here. So then what you're going to do is you're going to place hoppers. Okay, so all of these hoppers right into that center. So the hoppers are facing into it. And then the rest of these hoppers over here in these rows are all going to be facing into those hoppers. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so again, make sure you have two blocks of space above. These are going to be on the third uh, on the third level down. Okay, and then if you want, you can add a third row here, just like this. It doesn't matter what's underneath it. You just go ahead and add yourself a third row of hoppers facing into these hoppers. Okay, so now that that's like that, now that you get your three rows, uh, go ahead and place pressure plates on this first row right here, just like so. Bing, bing, bing. And for this one, we're just going to have to crouch it. Okay. Now what you can go ahead and do is you can just place, uh, take out a wooden trap door. Okay. Or if you'd like, you can put a, a half slab. That's fine too. Uh, I'm just going to put a wooden trap door here. Not sand. Uh, wooden trap door. Uh, yeah, you know what? You could place sand there. It doesn't really matter. You could place whatever you want there. Okay, right on top. And then behind it, you dig two down. Or three down, sorry. And that is where your chest is going to be. Okay, so go ahead and get your chest. You could do a double chest if you want. Pull it out. And then just close it up with a trap door. Okay? And now you're ready. Now you just come by whenever. I would do this again. Do this where where you've definitely seen some squid okay do it where you've definitely seen some squid uh, also do it kind of close to where you are hanging out where you're building your base just so it's you know it's running i mean you can always build it where, where you you know where you go afk so let's say right here you have your mob farm and you like to go afk you can also build it there so that way the squid kind of uh kind of spawn too oh there we go we got some squid right there so again you're just going to go ahead and put your squid down and do, please do make sure that you uh that you fill these up with arrows. I'm not going to do that right now, but just fill them all up with arrows. And then as soon as you go in here, as you can see, everything will activate and they'll just shoot down a barrage of arrows. Um, and it'll be awesome. Plus you also get, you know, you also get squid that do shit like that, which is really dumb. So if you'd like, you can also kind of fill up the sides. That has nothing to do with this, but you can kind of fill up the sides over here just so they're kind of filtered in here. Oh, can we get this guy to come in here? No, we can't. Um, but th this is just something fun to have on the shore. If it's if it's in an area where there is a ton of squid, you're probably going to get um, a much higher rate. Uh, but if it's not, you know, then uh, it's it's every once in a while you will definitely uh, get some get some ink in there. But this is in, instead of you know digging out. Oh no, <laughs> I messed that up. Uh, this is instead of digging out a huge huge cavern. Feel free to do that if you if you really, really want to. But if you happen to have a lot of redstone, not that much time on your hands, and you have an iron farm for your uh, for your hoppers, these are kind of cool to just have over the shore. Again, you can do them shorter if you do them on like a little river. I didn't actually look around for a little river. Uh, but if you do it in a little river, you can cut down on a lot of the resources. You know, probably only end up using maybe four or five of the lights, four or five string, and then maybe like 10 or 15 hoppers because you're only going to be doing it in a much smaller area but uh, over time as you saw in the uh, demonstration they'll just they'll just go in there they'll just swim around they'll go up they'll get stuck and they will uh hit this and it, it's pretty awesome so uh just keep that in mind but yeah i just wanted to come up with this this is like a proof of concept i wanted to come up with something completely different rather than just digging a big hole you know having uh signs underneath where they fall through that's kind of been done before this is something cool on the shore that you can have, uh, and you know it's it's nice. It's a little uh, it's a little eyepiece. Plus, if, if something happens, you can see it from far away, and you'll know. Oh, the lights are off. There must be something there. Let me go check. All right. But anyway, guys, that's gonna do it for me. Until next time, Captain. I was out. Peace.